Morning. James and I are up nice and early. It's nice to be up before the sun this morning. We're just sipping some coffee and enjoying the nice breeze. And then we thought we would head over to the headlands to go for a walk before it gets too warm. Coffee is good. <laughs> Tastes better on Anchor. I'm Allison, and this is my other half, James. We left it all behind to move aboard our small, no frills sailboat, living out our dream of exploring the epic coastline of the Pacific Northwest. We bought a boat, spent months fixing it up while teaching ourselves how to sail, before finally untying from home port for good with a goal in mind, to sail the entire inside passage all the way to Alaska. If you're just joining us, well, you're just in time. This is the first stop on our slow journey north, and we're stoked to have you come along on the adventure. I'm excited to be here, and I'm really stoked to go explore the park, take the dinghy for a rip because we haven't really used it very much and it's still kind of new and exciting for us. It's very exciting that we have a dinghy. It's been a real evolution. Last year we had a Walmart float <laughs> that we were using, Bruno, and finally we upgraded to an actual real dinghy. It's a real dinghy. <laughs> and now we have an outboard, so it's super exciting. We have a little car on the water. Hey, we're stoked to be using it, really. Shall we beach the dinghy up here on the beach? Go for a walk? Let's beach it. Can I keep an eye out for rocks coming in? It is going out at the moment, so I think we should tie the dinghy off to the rope, but leave the dinghy floating in the water so that as the tide goes it down, the dinghy stays closer to the water. I don't see any point in pulling it up higher as long as it's tied off to a nice big log. Bye Bruno, see you when we get back. Hopefully. These cliffs are pretty cool. Yeah, they're pretty amazing, it's like all the little beach stones that are down there are just all glued together. My grade nine geology teacher called this a conglomerate of rock. It's pretty cool though. This picturesque rocky headland on Hornby Island is locally known as Heliwell Park. The stunning bluffs guard the northern entrance to Tribune Bay where our little boat swings on anchor. Wildflowers carpet the hillside along the cliffs, hedged by a beautiful forest of gorgeous old growth fir, gnarled Gary Oaks, and Western yew wood. This conservation serves to support significant populations of birds like this black oyster catcher and polluted woodpecker, as well as heaps of marine life, including the rare six gill shark definitely a worthwhile place to check out if you're passing through. The flora and fauna here seem to be more at home in the desert than in the Pacific Northwest. We wandered along the bluffs, taking in the panoramic views of Vancouver Island and beyond, before making our way back to our floating home for lunch. So while we're here on anchor, we're gonna take the opportunity to quickly dive the hole and see what's going on down there. When we were motoring up, it was like trying to bowl on like shag carpet. There's so much growing on the bottom of the boat at the moment that we were just chugging along so slowly. Let's take an opportunity to go check it all out. We haven't scrubbed the hull since last summer and the boat's just been sitting all spring and 
kind of half of the summer in the marina, just slowly building its own marine ecosystem down there. I think at this point we may as well open an aquarium. Come along and uh, let's go take a gander. I can go in full walrus mode. <laughs> be like a little Pluto pup underwater. Hopefully there's no orcas lurking around. You look just like a seal. Well, let's go see what lurks beneath. Graceful. You know what we're having for dinner? Mussels. Mussels. <laughs> Gross. There are so many of these under there. Ugh. But they come off, so. Yeah, so there's hope. We've got a busy afternoon ahead of us. Bottom paint, better known as anti-fouling paint, is the stuff that boaties use to keep the nasties from growing on the hull. Our boat has been painted in the past with an ablative bottom paint, designed to periodically slough away as the boat is moving through the water, preventing the buildup of marine growth. Clearly our paint is at the end of its service life, and over the last winter has grown quite a collection of marine organisms. Generally speaking, ablative paints don't need to be cleaned, and the best way to fix this situation is to haul the boat and repaint the hull. In the meantime, we're going to remove the hard growth by hand until we can haul the boat in the near future. We're off to the beach early this morning to get a little workout in before the crowds arrive. Oh, morning runs on the beach. Oh. Here you go. Recording. Oh, look at that. Third lap. Still feeling good. I only started running oh, about a year and a half ago, and it was hard at first. It was pretty challenging to get my cardio to a fitness that was comfortable to run, but once you do, it's actually pretty good. Get in the swing of things, and you know. Like most things in life, it's just one foot in front of the other. Oh, what a cliche. Well, that felt pretty good. It's a little nervous, but I was just being mindful of every step. I really love running and it's been over three weeks. So that felt really, really, really good. Proud for getting out here this morning and doing it. After our workout, we wandered into town to check out the vibrant and quirky community here on Hornby Island. There's a sweet, colorful marketplace here where we grabbed a cold smoothie and caffeinated bevy, then set up our outdoor office to do some online work. After our work day, we hopped into Bruno, heading back to the beach to soak up the last of the day's summer rays, ditching tan lines and timelines here in Little Tribune Bay. The lovely Tribune Bay has but one weakness. It is very exposed to southerly swell. With a southeasterly wind picking up and a qualicum blow in the forecast, we made a spur decision to pick up our hook and run for calmer waters, rather than rock and roll all night long as Little Tribune Bay turned on its wash cycle. Turning the bow to the west, we rolled out our headsail, and with the wind now on our beam, we kicked up speed and charted a course towards Bain Sound.
He's getting soaked. As we entered the calm, protected waters of Bain Sound, we spread our sails running downwind into the sunset. One might experience the magic of sailing in many moments, but the bliss that bubbles up during a sunset cruise such as this, wing on wing, sails illuminated by the glow of the golden hour, is something that is difficult to put into words. Maybe it's the peace and calm, the beauty, or the feeling of absolute freedom. But the magic in moments like this is why we're so hellbent on doing this crazy thing. And we are so grateful to get to share it all with you. Thank you for being on this journey with us. Join us next week as we catch a ride on a rare midsummer southerly that blows us north all the way to the Discovery Islands. We chart a narrow course to take refuge and discover what is truly unique about this boater's hideaway.